In this video, I am going to show you how to pass the data from Omniscript to the data adapter or in very simple words, how to create a record using Omniscript inside Salesforce. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go and create an Omniscript and let's name it as Omni for YT. Okay, I'm going to name it as type as Omni and for YT for Y for YT. Right now, once this is done, let's click on save. Now, what this Omniscript is specifically going to do is it's going to go ahead and create a record inside account. And now if you want to create a record inside account, simply you need a few fields like name and also account number and all those fields, right? So we need to capture all those fields over here as well and pass the same data from Omniscript to the data raptors or to the Salesforce itself. So in step one, inside step one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the name. So for that purpose, I'm going to add a text and I'm going to call it as name field and label it as name. Again, I'm marking it as required. So whoever is going to use it, so he has to enter some kind of name. Next, we are also going to take account number. So I'm going to name it as account number and the label it as account number itself. Okay. Uh, one more important thing, if you already know account name, so, or the name of this Omniscript is very, very much important. Any component that you're using, this name is very, very much important because it has to be always unique because for the same, the JSON nodes will be created. You can watch my previous video on Omniscript. I've cleared those concepts over there. So let's add one more step right let's add one more step and in that step what i'm going to do is i'm going to capture the agriculture or the industry type so when you create an account basically there are few fields for an example let's create a standard account uh, it has account name industry right industry as well for an example right so we are going to capture account name account for account number there is one more field account number and one more drop down field that is called as industry okay in that industry we have agriculture apparel and all that stuff so let's go ahead and add that drop down okay to uh, to add a drop down inside this uh omni script i need thing we need to use select yeah using select you can add a drop down over here okay and let's name it as account industry yeah i already have it i'll name the same or I label the same simply and to add the options within this account industry. Uh, for, first of all, I need to go to the industry field, right? Industries to get the API names of the values, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and get the values. So for an example, I'm going to take agriculture and I'm going to add options inside it. So here I have two options label label is just to show it on the screen and value is the actual value of that label, right? So I'm going to keep this uh, both the same. So let's click on save. So one option has been added. Let's add apparel as well. And value and this would be both of this would be same. And let's say I'm going to add a biotechnology as well. Both would be same and let's click on save. So now if I go ahead and preview it, okay, using preview, you can preview the actual things. Now I'm going to put some name inside. Let's say uh, this is for YT and account number as something, something. So if you see at the right side, what's happening is that the JSON is getting created step one and under that step one, I have name field and account number that is nothing but the name or for an example, if I like, for an example, these are nothing but the names of the fields, right? Name uh, of the field and uh, account number. It, it is also name of that component, right? If I click on next under the step two, I have industry. So if I select agriculture automatically under step two, a JSON is getting created where account industry equals to agriculture. Let's copy this JSON and let's give it over here. And you can see it is getting uh, beautified. So inside this beautified version, we can simply see under step one, I have these fields, name field and account number. These are nothing but Again, I'll reiterate. So these are nothing but these nodes. Okay. So whatever you're going to name over here, same nodes will be created over here as well inside your JSON. So under name field, this is for YT account number is something, something. And under step two, I have account industry. Now our JSON is ready. We need to take the same JSON and we need to give it to the data raptor so that it can go ahead and create the record. 
right? So data raptor is specifically used to do interaction with the databases. So let's go ahead and create a data raptor quickly so that it can take all these inputs and create the records for us. So to add the data raptor again, you can go and here inside actions, you can search for data raptor. Now there are different types of the data raptor here. We need to create the record, right? We need to commit the data. And in the, in that case, we have to use data raptor post action. So let's go ahead and drag this data raptor post action. So after step one and step two, where we capture the name and the account number and under the step two, where we're capturing the, capturing the account industry, we are going to go and execute the data raptor post action. Now I'm going to name it as uh, it as, as it is, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new data raptor and let's name it as DR to create account records and let's click on okay. Now, as soon as you do that automatically an data raptor of post action will get created, which is nothing but data raptor of type load. Okay. First option it's asking me is that for which object do I want to create the record? So first of all, let me go to the Omniscript pack. Omni for YT, right? Omni or YT was there, right? Yeah, this one was there. Let's open it parallelly. So now here for which object do you want to create the record? That's what it is asking. So I want to create it for account. Next, uh, I don't need any kind of formula, but I need to map the fields, right? I need to map the fields. So if I click on the plus over here, Automatically, if I click, if I see this input JSON path, this input JSON path will be coming from nothing but our JSON that was created inside the Omniscript. So if you would have saw this JSON under the step one, you will be able to capture this name field inside this input field. For an example, if I click over here, automatically you can see under step one, I'm able to capture account number, which is nothing but these fields, account number, which are value from the Omniscript, right? Automatically step one under that I can get the name field as well. Step two, I can get the account industry as well. So let's map this step one name field of the Omni script. This is the value of the Omni script, which is acting as an input JSON to this data raptor. So here I'm using this as an input JSON and I'm, I will map it to the actual field of an account. Okay. So let's map it to the name field of an account. These are accounts field, okay, name field of the account, domain object field. And input JSON path is nothing but it is coming from the JSON or it is coming from the Omni script. Okay, let's click on plus again and add another field. Again, in input JSON path, what I need to do is the JSON that I'm receiving from the Omni script, that is step one account number, that is this step one's account number. I need to map it to the account number field of the account, uh, account right? So. I'm mapping the account number field uh, from the Omni script to the actual account number field of the account object. Let's click on plus and also add the industry field. So that industry field, I was capturing it under step two's account industry. I can find, find that inside this input JSON path as well. See step two colon account industry. And let's map it to the industry field of account. Now, once this is done, you can just go to your Omni script and you can click on preview. So you might be thinking where it is linked. You can just go to your Omni script and while you were creating it, the created Omni script, the, the Omni script that uh, the data raptor that you just created automatically got linked to this data uh, Omni script. Okay. So you don't need to worry about this as soon as you create, or you can even link, uh, to the required or data raptor as well. But as soon as you do that, it automatically, uh, calls the data raptor from here. So step one, you will get executed. Step two will get executed and data raptor will get executed. So let's go ahead and preview it and also open the account object records. Now let's name it as created for YT video. Let's name the account number as something called as, uh, one, 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 one. Let's click on next. And the industry I'm going to select is biotechnology. Let's click on next. And automatically this JSON is going to get passed to that data raptor that we just created over here. And automatically that account number that is coming, uh, the, this step one's account number will get mapped to the actual account number of the uh, account number field of the account. Right. And similarly, uh, same thing will happen for the name field. Same thing is going to happen for the industry field. So let's go ahead and refresh the account. 
and you can see an account has been created successfully account has been created for uh, created for yt video right if i go into the details i can also find the account number is properly mapped and also the industry should also get mapped properly so this is how you can pass data from omniscript or even we can say that we can create the record from omniscript if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel